Daryl P. writes, Hey, Collider Gang, recently you guys discussed the upcoming release of Everybody Wants Some, and Mark mentioned how excited he is for the soundtrack. Mm -hmm. This made me think of some of my favorite soundtracks, and I realized that a lot of them are from either middle of the pack or downright terrible movies. My two biggest examples are the Disturbing Behavior soundtrack with Harvey Danger's <laughs> Flagpole Sitta and the Flies Got... The Flies Got You Where I Want You, and the Epic Judgment Night soundtrack. What are some of your favorite soundtracks that thankfully overshadow their questionable movie material? Uh, Thanks for reading my question, and stay filthy, game. Judgment Night. Remember that with oh, yeah, Slam, yeah, yeah. Slam, da, da, da. Yeah, That yeah. was a great tune. The movie was, ah, yeah, Dennis Leary and Emilio Estevez. Um, the ones that stick out to me, first of all, when you saw the, uh, the test screening of Flash Gordon, did they have the Queen music in there? All of it. Okay, yeah, because yeah. the Queen music is pretty awesome. Flash Gordon, sorry, Christian, I'm just not a big fan of the movie uh. at all. But there's some horrible movies that have great soundtracks. One of them is the Lori Petty early 90s film Tank Girl. Oh, yeah. Remember Tank Girl? Yeah, it was based yeah. on a comic. It was a total bomb at the box office, but the soundtrack was awesome. There was also a Mike Myers movie that has really funny elements of it. As a Don't movie, it doesn't murderer. really hold Don't up. Don't say it. So I Married no, an Axe No, it's a murderer. funny movie. I, you know what? I'll do you the favor of checking it out again. Yeah. But I remember my big takeaway from that movie was, it had a great early 90s soundtrack. You had some Toad the Wet Sprocket on there, Ned's Atomic Despin. There, there was a lot of good stuff in there. So those are the two that I can think of off the top of my head as far as great soundtracks, but the movies maybe didn't represent it the best way. How about you? There's a movie with Brendan Fraser and Samantha Mathis called Cheese Strike. And it has cheese strike. Cheese, cheese strike. Cheese strike. And it has the hell. It, it has the doors. <laughs> Pink Floyd. It's got uh, wow. big Big Daddy Kane. Uh, I'm just kidding. I made that movie up. Uh, the only reason that uh. is because I had to. I didn't read the question well enough before, so I had to make up cheese strike. I like cheese strike. I want to see it now. Hey, you know what? I just <laughs> Nobody saw, does their homework when I just it's you saw, two guys. I just saw. Hey, look. I did my homework. Relax. I didn't see the you're Jungle both, Book thing. You're both banging erasers after All right, class. All right, so we, we're even now. So check it out. <laughs> I just saw a movie. It's on Netflix right now. It's called Dope. It's incredible. It's got an yeah. all 90s soundtrack. It's got so much flavor in there. If you haven't seen that, it's got like Public Enemy. It's got a, a Q-tip. It's got, it's got so much amazing, uh, so, um, so many amazing soundtracks. I, could, I was like, man, I was just rolling through them. So Dope is one of my favorite newest films I just saw that has an incredible soundtrack. I could always go Dope's back awesome. to the John Hughes catalog, any of his films, The Breakfast Club, 16 Candles, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Every single one of his films is loaded with incredible, amazing 80s music, yeah. which now everyone's into the 80s again. It feels like, oh, it's like a flashback. But when it came out, it was amazing sound. No, trust me, the 80s never, ever left us. Mort Good. Mortal Kombat, people are saying. Uh, Godzilla from 98, for sure. And also, people are agreeing. Uh, cheese Strike. Uh, wow. I, I need to watch Cheese Strike. <laughs> yeah. I'll admit that. Godzilla 98, I'm sorry, man. I'm not a huge fan of P. Diddy or Puff Daddy or whoever he was back then redoing Cashmere. Cashmere yeah. was fine the way it was. Yeah. Don't um, need and to mess with it. Yeah, somebody said The Crow, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, The oh, Crow is great. Good movie. Dope's great. Yeah. Uh, the Breakfast Club is great. As far as movies that weren't great that had awesome soundtracks, Batman Forever. You had Seal, oh, yeah. right? Kissed by a Rose. Da, 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 yeah. Da, 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 and you had a great, uh, the great U2 song, uh, Thrill Me, Kiss Me, Kill Me, Deadly. What, what, right. it, was, it, was a, it was a better song than the movie, the movie was. So yeah. there's your answer. We hope we did. At least some of us on the panel <laughs> paid attention. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.